Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to read the data from text file and how to build your own make file on Linux. Here I have just built a simple C++ application and uh, in order to read file from text file, we first have to initialize our if stream object. So if stre stream, we call the m file, and uh, we need a parameter is a file name. Let's assume file name from command line, which we get from the argument one. And after we got the our if stream object m file, and we have to check if m file dot is open. Then we are going to read the file, making a loop to read the file. So making a loop a while, and the reading file is using getting line function. This function needs two parameters. First is the file object, uh, if stream object. Second is a string variable, we just call the line. And uh, so now we have defined, declare new string variable. We call the line. So after we get uh, read the file into line, we just get uh, out, print this out. So line So we just uh, print out. And the example file we have built, which has uh, 20,000 lines, so we don't want to print 20,000 lines. We make one variable for counting. And uh, so at the beginning of loop, we put the i, we create a variable i and t i equals zero. And each line we, we read i plus plus. And uh, we try to say if i equal, equal 1, which first line, or i equal 20,000, then we print. And uh, so we just want to print the first line and last line. And uh, after that, we dot close close the file and then we finish the program so this is a finished reading so because the file name come from the command line so we try to make a protection here so we say if not equal to in case somebody forgot to put a file name and we don't have a file name as argument and uh, we cannot uh, instantialize the in stream, if stream object. So we, 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 in order to get rid of this uh, risky, we make a protection. If people forgot to put a file name, we just uh, give them information. Tell them the usage should be my read file and uh, have to put a file name. So these are the end and the line. And after get the information, I put a return one. So we 
return one. And uh, if we have file name, we try to save open and then we go. So this is our program. We save all of them. Save that. And uh, okay, so looks uh, build is okay. Today, in order to make a demo on this ID, graphic ID, I wanted to log into the Linux and try to see how to make in our make file to build this application directly on Linux. So here under this my build my my make directory we have our C++ file we have our example file. So how to make in, making file to build application so we first we need to create a make file M A K E file make file have to be make file together with capital M. So we're going to so it's a new file. So first I make a note of this is demo make file. So to make a make file, first we have to to tell get a variable to see which compiler we are going. So we are going to use G++ as a compiler. We give a, a variable to the CC. And the second, we have to t tell which compiling flag we are going to use. So we have to make a flags, okay, C flags, which compiling flags. So when compiling from the C++ file to the object file, should we make it minus C and we also add the minus ALL. This is uh, getting all the warning messages. We don't want to get uh, rid of a warning message. We want to show them. And the other things we may, we can do if we need a debug, we may need to put a minus G. If we don't need, we just don't put a minus G. And if we have a header file in special location, we have to put a minor capital I and put a some some uh, as, uh, you include the directory which if we have a special special location with header file for example if we were using some database like uh, in the Oracle or MySQL and then you have somewhere so you need to put a indicator where is the header file located and uh, after uh, Compiling flag, we have to go the link flag. So we call the arrow flags. And the arrow flags is usually tell which library we're going to use. It. So we make a small arrow. We tell which library we use the M, just the multiple. We don't make it special. And if sometimes if we want the linking with optimizer, you can put a minor O and so optimizer during the linking. If uh, you have, we have a special library need under some particular location, we have to put a ML and some special, some special library directory. And uh, if there's no that special thing, we don't need to put them. So now we don't put anything. After we make this three variable. We can start writing our making process. So let's see. First, we get in our making file, and this is what we are going to build. So making process. There's two steps. First step is from the from the C++ original CPP file to the object file. This is called the compiling. And the second step is from the object file to the executable file. This is a step called the link. So what we do for, for compiling, we're going, what we do, we're going to do this you will see CC is our compiler, and uh, we are, and also we know C flags is our compiling flags. So 
and uh, what we compile it. This is our, our source code and uh, what's the output with compile is the object file dot o file. And the second step is we still using the G because G do the linking tool. So it goes to, so because it's a linking, so we are going to use a link flex. And what we link, we link this object to this executable. So this is the step we are going to do. And to build a make file, we have to do one more thing. It's called a C L E A N. We make a clean tag. And in, C, in case we are going to rebuild and rebuild, so we have to make able to make a clean and rebuild. So in the clean, what we do, we're going to rm f star the object file, and that's all the executable files. So we clean this, we can rebuild. And another another thing we can do is uh, make a short label called a ALL. If we, we have a multiple lot of uh, application, so we can make it a short one. So we can put a, like a three, four, or five. We can make it all of them, right? But in this case, right now we only have one application, so we get rid of this, and uh, so we can sometimes we making if we want to make short work, we can just. Uh, type making all and the tools compile everything if we have a multiple project and if we want to clean we just making clean so this is our make file let's save this and let's see what we have we have our make file now to making our project we have to use the make command so if we make a single application we just say we making my read file we type enter so you can see compiler make two steps. First step making minor O file. Second step link making uh, executable. So let's see what's there. So now we have uh, our executable, right? So our example file. Let's see. This is our test data file. So our test data file. First one, two, three, four file is line number. And the last line is 2000. So first line is 001, hello world, I'm here. Last line is 220,000. So we make our program to see here. And we run, run this, uh, this our test, test file. So they say we print the first line, 001, last line is 20,000. Now let's say we make a clean to rebuild again, so uh, after we make clean, everything is, uh, we did, ex executable and the object, everything is gone, right? So if we try to make it, we can so make O, and uh, because we have only one application, so we're making O, we still make uh, again, so R is minus R, we rebuild again. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully it is enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thanks.